And for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7 GH. Of course, we are going to look at the likely starting 11 of the Super Eagles versus Rwanda tomorrow. Um, 2 p.m. Nigerian time. The Super Eagles of Nigeria will be playing versus Rwanda far away, far away in Rwanda. And we are going to look at the likely starting 11 and then some analysis into the game. What we are expecting after beating um, Benin 3-0 and Fatek scoreline. Obviously, the Super Eagles are expected to continue and then beat Rwanda and have three maximum points and um, six maximum points from two games and make sure that they top their group um after the first round of the qualifications so um we are supporting the super eagles is that noted yeah i'm a Ghanaian. i'm trying to do content on the super eagles but of course i'm supporting the super eagles so <laughs> don't think that oh i'm support it's not an against or anything all right don't worry at all now um, do also subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell. Most importantly, let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section of this video. What are your predictions for the game versus Rwanda? Um, what is the likely starting eleven, or which players are you hoping? Um, looking forward to seeing them in the starting eleven that will be made by Coach Augustine Eguavon. Which players are you not hoping to see them, or do you not? want them to start in that game versus rwanda let me know all of that in the comment section of this video and um, like the video also like the video and subscribe to the channel obviously now nigeria versus rwanda they've not really played games yes in terms of the senior national teams playing games together they've not really played games so in terms of head to head nigeria versus rwanda there are no um, significant matches that marks their head to head all right yeah so this will may be the first official proper game nigeria are going to play versus rwanda but don't forget that rwanda are on one point in the league or in the group currently nigeria is on three points plus three goals rwanda is next one point plus zero goals and then libya is also next one point plus zero goals because rwanda played versus libya away and they drew the game one one and if you look in the nigerian group nigeria is obviously the top um, team in the group followed by maybe benin and then rwanda will follow next and then there will be Libya, all right? So, Rwanda going away to Libya to get one point obviously proves that indeed they are some solid side. And if you look at their last few games they've played, Rwanda, they don't really lose games like that. Even though the opponent is something you can consider. Rwanda drew 1-1 with Libya. They went away in the FIFA World Cup qualifier to beat Lesotho 1-0. They won 1-0 over Lesotho. Benin um, beat them 1-0 um, in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. You know that Rwanda is in the same group with Nigeria and Benin in terms of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers also. So that is it. Benin beat them at home um 1-0 and then in international friendly games um rwanda went away to beat madagascar 2-0 and they drew 0-0 with botswana so in their last five games they've drawn two won two and lost one all right so that is the form rwanda will be um having in this particular group but winning away to madagascar is a big deal in terms of the african continent nigeria after the african cup of nations were struggling with wins and everything and that's the reason why i i am i'm i'm praising augustine Aguavon for the fact that he returned back to the three back okay that nigeria were using in the african cup of nations that saw them go all the way to the finals of the competition beaten by ivory coast so that's it Augustine Aguavon came went back to the three back and won 3-0 emphatic over benin but before that nigeria beat ghana in international friendly games 2-1 um in march and then mali beat them back beat nigeria 2-0 and then in FIFA World Cup qualifiers, two games, Nigeria couldn't find a win. Versus South Africa, it was 1-1. Versus Benin, they lost 2-1 to Benin. And then Nigeria, um, just some three days ago, beat um, Benin 3-0 in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. But like I told you, the key to that, Nigeria beating Benin, is the fact that Augustine Aguavon went with three-back formation. 
that three four three formation that was used in the african cup of nations after the first game the second game nigeria started using their three back formation and they went all the way to the finals and it looks like that three back formation also unlocks key players like ademula lukman and the rest and that is a very very important one so going into the rwandan game i know that the coach will remain and in fact will stick to the three back formation and that is what he has to do you know what are you going to change you are not supposed to change anything you have to maintain that and it is certain that the defenders are going to be kept like that so stefan um stanley wabali will be the goalkeeper in post and He's been very, very solid for Nigeria Super Eagles. Very, very solid. Um, in fact, in a game versus Benin, he had a rating of 7.5. People thought that, look, he didn't get a lot of balls and all of that. But he, there were some key balls that he managed to save. Now, Calvin Bassi will be on the left side of the defense. So, straight back of Calvin Bassi, William Trust, a the capito of the side, the captain of the side. And then Sami Ayeyi. Yes, I told you I'm a Ghanaian. Maybe I'll not get the name's pronunciation right, but you forgive me. Is that not it? So these three defenders are supposed to be the constant back threat for the Nigerian um, Super Eagles. And indeed, they were very, very good side. And very, very good players during the game versus Benin. And I know that they are going to even improve in the game versus, um, versus Rwanda. So that's the back four, okay, of the three back. Now, if you come to the mid four, four, that midfield 4 2. I don't think there should be any changes from the players who started in the game versus Benin because Bruno Onyamachi, oh, what a player he was! He was fantastic on the day versus Benin. Excellent, excellent player playing on the um, that's the left wing back for Nigeria. Left wing back, he was exceptional on the day, so you would have to keep him for consistency sake. Ola Aina, yes, was so good, if not fairly good on the day. Um, right wing back, um, Nottingham Forest player. Obviously, you are going to start him also. Is that not it? Now, the two midfielders is where a lot of Ghanaians have, um, a lot of Nigerians have diverse opinions. Something that, look, Alex Iwobi should be substituted. But for me, I think Wilfred Ndidi will start and should start in the game and come and be and have his partner as Alex Iwobi. Alex Iwobi cannot be dropped because the, his competitors know he's better than them. And on a good day, Alex, uh, Alex Iwobi will deliver fantastically for you. Just like his uncle, Jeju Okocha. Is that not it? Maybe not just like his uncle, but closer to his uncle. So, I think that Alex Iwobi should still start the game in the heart of the midfield together with Wilfred Indindi because he's going to be the main creative source in the midfield, through the midfield. He's going to be the main creative source aside the wingers being creative for the team. Do you get a point? So, Alex Iwobi should start. So, that's the four midfielders for me. The attack is where I will make some slight changes. And Victor Boniface started the game versus ben, um, Benin. But if you look at the fact that um, Victor Osimhen came on just six minutes, announced his, his, his return to the Super Eagles and all of that after the hectic summer he went through, I am telling you that I will start Victor Osimhen as the main number nine of this team. At least he will play some 70 minutes and then Victor Boniface can come and see what he will do. Or he will play 80 minutes and Victor Boniface can come and see what he can do. But Victor Boniface, Victor Osimhen... Awuniyi, all of them are solid strikers for the Nigeria Super Eagles and any of them can start. But for me, I think that this is a game that Nigeria have to win and win as soon as possible or as early as possible. And uh, winning that, you have to field all your quality and best players in the squad. If you look at the first game versus Benin, the chances that fell for Victor Boniface and he couldn't make use of them. Look, give the, those chances to uh, Victor Osimen, and obviously he's making use of them. So Osimen starts up front and then Ademola Lukman starts on the, um, on the left wing. As a left winger. And if you watch Ademola Lukuma, I've told you already. The three back really unlocks him. Looks like he has a lot of freedom from the left wing to the left midfield. Inside the midfield. Even as a number 10. He has a lot of freedom on the pitch. Playing as a left winger. And the last time he scored two goals during the AFCON as a left winger. And with a three back formation, he was exceptional in the AFCON. So obviously, I'm going to start him as a left winger. And I know that in, in the game versus Rwanda. 
2, 2 p.m. Nigerian time, 1 p.m. Ghana time. Obviously, it's going to go well for Nigeria. And then, Samuel Chukweze, yes, will hold his position as a right winger of the attack. Yes, um, I think Samuel Chukweze will hold his position, even though we didn't really see him on top form in the game versus, um, versus Benin. But, yeah, I, I will still think him. So, the only change I'm making, or I, if I was a coach, I will make in the game versus Rwanda, if I was the Nigerian coach, is that Victor Simon will come in and start ahead of Victor Boniface. What are your thoughts of that? What lineup do you think um, coach Augustine Aguavon should go in with for the uh, Rwandan game? Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section of this video. Like the video, hit the notification bell and select all. It's very important for you to like the video and leave your thoughts and comments below. Definitely, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.